Hello children. Today we will start our CBSC Math Class 8. In last video, we have completed uh, some topics that is uh, uh, natural number, whole number, integers, and some properties of a rational number. So today we will see. The last video we have completed the uh, property of rational number, closure property. So today we will see commutative property, associative property and distributive property. Okay. And some more thing that is role of 0 for rational number, role of 1, additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. These are the topics today we cover. Okay. So let us start one by one. So first one is your commutative property. First one is commutative property. Commutative property for rational number states that if A is a rational number, B is a rational number, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. Okay. That means if A is one rational number, B is one rational number, then it will add this A with B, one rational number and it will reverse that one, then that equals to zero. Means commutative property of rational number satisfy under addition. Okay. So here we will take the example of rational number. So we will not take example because in the previous video we have already um, uh, studied in details about the closure property. Same way we will follow only uh, you need to take the number in place of A and B and you have to verify. Okay. That means uh, rational number is nothing but one type of fractional number. If you are mass uh, master of uh, that uh, um, fraction, okay, addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division of fraction, then you can easily do it. Okay, no need to spend time here. So that means commutative property satisfy under addition. Okay, then second one we have to see that under uh, um, under that uh, subtraction, what happened? That means a is a rational number and b is a rational number then b minus a it, it, uh, the, um, but that uh, subtraction is not commutative for rational number subtraction is not commutative ok again you have to give the example a one rational number you take one rational number b one rational number you will subtract a from uh, a and b ok then again b minus a and you will check it out that value will not be same that means that uh, subtraction is not commutative for rational number subtraction is not commutative for rational number third one is multiplication check whether this multiplication is uh, commutative under the, uh, for that rational number or not that means if a is a rational number b is a rational number then it will multiply two rational number then b into a it is same that means if you will multiply two rational number and if you reverse the multiplication then also the answers are same that means multiplication is commutative multiplication is commutative under uh, for the uh, rational number is that clear next one is your division okay so a is a rational number b is a rational number then uh, b divided by a that means if a is a rational number b is a rational number then it will divide the b from a and uh, a from b then the value is not same that means division is not commutative division is not commutative for rational number is that clear? Division is not commutative for rational number. Okay. So, you will take the examples. Okay. And you will uh, check it out. Whether this property satisfy or not. That means what we see? Addition is commutative. And subtraction is not commutative. Okay. Multiplication is commutative. Division is not commutative. Next, come to the associative property. Okay. So, if you want, you can write it. Next come to second property that is associative property. Associative means uh, how we will associate the 
नंबर्स सपोज यार ए बी सी आर थ्री रेशनल नंबर ओके सो इफ ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी दैट मींस इट विल इट विल एसोसिएटेड द सेकंड टू फर्स्ट एंड हियर फर्स्ट टू फर्स्ट ओके दिस फर्स्ट टू फर्स्ट देन द वैल्यू विल बी आल्सो सेम मींस इन एडिशन यू कैन एसोसिएट थ्री रेशनल नंबर इन एनी वे आइदर ऑफ द वे ओके इफ यू विल ऐड टू रेशनल नंबर सेकंड टू रेशनल नंबर देन ऐड टू द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट और फर्स्ट टू रेशनल नंबर ऐड टू द सेकंड देन द वैल्यू विल बी सेम नो प्रॉब्लम that means we can say that uh, this um, uh, addition is associative for rational number this addition is associative for rational number is that clear next one is suppose here a minus b minus c is equal to a minus b minus c suppose a b c are three rational number then it will associate the second to first and here the first to first then the value is not same the value will be not same that means a minus b minus c if you associate like this and here if you associate like this and you will subtract then the value is not same that means we can say that subtraction is not associative subtraction is not associative for the rational number okay next one is here multiplication a into b into c equal to a into b into c is that clear that means if we will take three rational number and if we associate the second to first here first to first then the value is same the value is same then we can say that multiplication is associative for rational number if you will take the examples okay you have you will take a b c three rational number you will take and you will solve and you will see that the value is same last one is division that is a divided by b divided by c is not equal to a divided by b divided by c okay if you are taking three rational number if you are associating the second to first here first to first then the value is not same the value will be not same you cannot associate like this okay for the rational number that means the division is not associative for rational number division is not associative for rational number is that clear so write it come to the distributive property okay distributive property of rational number we will see is not it distributive property suppose here a into b plus c equal to you can say that ab plus bc ab plus bc that means the uh, that uh, distribution of that um, rational number under addition and subtraction we will see okay distribution of uh, multiplication over addition and subtraction two things we will see here a uh, into b minus c is equal to ab minus ac that means for rational number we can say that this type of distribution we can do this we can distribute this a into b plus c three rational number are there then this one ab ab into what ac here ab into ac okay so this is plus symbol we are putting plus here minus symbol we have put a minus symbol means we, this type of distribution is allowed for the rational number we can distribute like this is not it for rational number okay next one is roll of zero roll of zero for the rational number suppose a is a rational number we have completed this one three things roll of zero suppose a is a rational number a is a rational number it will add zero then it is what a is not it or zero plus a is also 
a a plus zero is equal to a zero plus a is equal to also a. That means this zero when we are adding zero with the rational number, its value does not change. It retains its identity. That means the value is same here. Okay, the value is same here. Either you add zero uh, with rational number or rational number with zero. There is no problem. The rational number retains its identity. Retains its identity means you will get the same rational number. That means we can say that zero is additive identity. Zero is additive identity of rational number. Okay, zero is additive identity of rational number. Is that clear? Next one is multiplicative identity. Next one is multiplicative identity. Suppose here a is a rational number. A is a rational number. If we multiply one, then you will get the what? Same rational number here. Uh, that means we can say that when we are multiplying one with a rational number, the value is same. That means we can say that one is the multiplicative identity. Means if you are multiplying with the rational number, still uh, the value does not change. Means it its uh, its identity remains. That's why it is known as the identity. And though you are multiplying, it is known as the multiplicative identity. Here we are adding, that's why it is known as adjective identity. Means A is remaining same. It's retaining its identity. That's its additive identity. This is multiplicative identity. This is the difference. Okay. Additive identity and multiplicative identity. Next is additive inverse. Additive inverse means what? If A is a rational number. If A is a rational number, what will add to this number so that the value is remains? Say value value will be zero. Okay, that means a plus minus a equal to zero because here a minus a equal to zero. Here a is a rational number. Okay, a is a rational number. If we add negative of rational number with the given rational number, then the value becomes zero. That's why it is known as the additive inverse. Additive inverse. Additive inverse of five is minus five. Additive inverse of minus nine is nine. Okay, this is the additive inverse. Next is multiplicative inverse. What is multiplicative inverse? Multiplicative inverse means suppose a is a rational number, then multiplicative inverse of a will be reciprocal of a, so that this value is cancel and it becomes one. That means multiplicative inverse is nothing but what you will multiply with that rational number so that the value will be 1. So if A is a rational number, if you multiply the inverse of that rational number, then the value will be 1. That means multiplicative inverse of 9 is 1 by 9. Is not it? Multiplicative inverse of 2 by 5 is 5 by 2. Okay, this is the difference. Means we will reciprocal or you will reverse the uh, fraction. Okay, so that that will give you the multiplicative inverse. Is that clear? So I hope this topic has been cleared by me. And in next video, we will discuss the, we will solve the uh, exercise problem. Okay, the uh, 8.1 first uh, exercise we will try to solve. Thank you very much.